Hi guys, we have Ola Toy, she is a product manager. I would love you to introduce yourself. Hi everyone, my name is Ola Toy, I'm okay. I am a product manager at Abalado and I'm happy to be here. What was your first 30 days experience as a product manager? Then there was the onboarding, I had to understand the business my boss took me through the business and what we're trying to do took me through so many like so many documents trying to understand what the business was about and then i started off doing some research and writing that stories because we went to start reading like instantly so i started writing that stories and i was actually the first hire so after then we started looking for engineers so i was also in like in in between um writing user stories doing some um product um, requirement documents and also trying to be in meetings to um hire engineers and all that stuff so i'll say my first day was, was more like getting to know what the business was about also i um, i customize myself to every time about the business and also reaching out to other people that was going to join us at what point did you know you were better off as a product manager the first time i got to know about product management it was something very really interesting and I took a course and I didn't finish that course because I was like, ah, this thing, I, ca- I can't do this thing, it's too hard, though, eh? You have to be like making decisions and all of those fun stuff. So I actually stopped the course. I was like, this is not for me. So um, after then, there was still Corona and everything. I was like, this course that I abandoned, let me, go- let me go back to take it. And then when I finished, I was like, okay, this is something very nice. But I was still like, said i'm going to go back to do my masters because that was where since like for ages i was like i'm going to be an academician and maybe lecture in university so after some time i just thought about everything i was like do i really want to do this like let me just let me just try and people are saying you don't you don't have to try put your mind into it you can do this so i will not say that it was my own decision per se it was more people more of people telling me that you can do this and after some time after everything i to myself i can't do this yeah i actually like being in the tech world and everything and then i went back to take the course again i took some other courses and i was like yeah i can do this and then i started looking for internship rules and all of those things so it was not actually me 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 in the beginning even though it was not people forcing me but at some point i thought to myself that i can do this and i want to be a product manager as a product manager what are the challenges you face so in my current role because we've not launched so the signs are actually very limited but maybe trying to get information like i cannot just sit down and say i want to find information online i can find just a minute amount of information because our target audience are not online unquote to see go to the markets things like that so it's not like if i want to like do a research now i i can't just say i want to go on my system and i'm going to get information if i if i want to get information i'm going to get information that is not nigeria peculiar it's not peculiar to nigeria so that's like one of the major challenges because research is not a fancy one this one you have to go to you have to like book your sleeves and all those stuff yeah so i would say that's like a major challenge because if you want to make a decision it's not like very easy you have to go to the field and then after some time maybe after some days or weeks before you can now make a decision based on the information you've gotten yeah so how has it been easy meeting up with clients the executive and also working with the development team okay so the good part is that in my team we relate together well we have developers designers yeah and then we relate well because we're just a small team and everybody i can reach out to you and just answer me so actually i think that's actually been very easy because everybody knows that we have to communicate and collaborate and once i send you a message you reach out immediately or we have a meeting so i will, I will not say there there has actually been any challenge in that maybe just just very cool and very easy actually because everybody understands that we have to collaborate and it's very important so once anybody reach out or once anybody reach out to me i answer or i reach out to somebody answer so i think it has pretty been cool because my team is a team that um everybody collaborates so yeah how has it been easy to combine to cost oh um, this did not break <laughs> <laughs> so how, how you said is your your clients are not online they are not people you see how has it been easy for you to get the information from them so like i said earlier we've not launched but right now we are, we are developing of course we need some information we had to um get some people we get we had to get like researchers to go into the field and um help us get this information and then person comes back we create this information analyze them and just make a decision around them yeah so basically it's just like a field worker we have like a field worker that goes to 
get information for us. How has it been easy for you, not having so much experience in this field before, trying to now build up yourself to become the best in this field? Like I said, collaboration, where in this aspect, collaboration with other people, being in communities that are going to help you, reading up, reading up. There's so many things to read up, there's so many videos to watch, there's so many things now. There's just like a lot of information on there online. So I try as possible to we take courses i also listen to like some videos there's photo school um linkedin every day trying to push out resources for pm so i try as possible to be in every slack channel i see as possible like i mean like maybe almost 15 slack channels right now <laughs> i get resources there read and um take courses so basically it's just there's information out there so i just try to um take advantage of them uh, during your leisure time what do you do during my leisure time so i like to do research and actually do research on just anything just think of it anything so i do research more like stuff the internet and um i try to sleep and watch movies what is going to be a word of encouragement for someone starting up as a product manager okay number one Take advantage of like communities because they're just like a whole lot of communities that are ready to welcome people that um aspiring product managers or new beginners because i will not say i'm actually very old in product management because i'm still new i'm still calling myself new because i'm just like maybe seven months in yeah so let's take advantage of um these communities and just a lot, whole lot of them just research to get them and also um try to reach out to people if you're com- you're not so sure about something reach out to people some people are actually ready to help. Some people may not answer you, of course, but then some people are actually willing to help you and answer your questions and just from connections because that is very important. So I also say take advantage of communities and also try to not push yourself too much, of course, but then read also because there are very few resources out there that you can leverage on.